Hey guys, welcome to your pick a card love reading. Uh, today we're going to take a look and find out what your person's intentions are and what their possible actions towards you in this connection are. Okay, um, timestamps will be below as always. And if you guys are interested in personals, that is below as well. Um, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for all the like shares and comments on the videos. Um, you guys are really doing a great job of supporting the channel. So I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So go ahead and pick your card and we will dive in with pile one. Hey, pile one. Welcome to your reading. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, more of an in-depth reading here today. So we're going to take a look and find out what your person's intentions are here in this spread. Then we'll jump over and find out what their possible actions will be. Okay. Do keep in mind this is general. So if it's not resonating with you, the first couple cards come out and you're not really feeling this, it might not be your pile. Okay. Um, and there may be messages in all three piles. So feel free to take a look at all three. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's find out what, <clears throat> what their intentions are here with you. Oh, okay. Well, we have the devil coming out for the first. Okay. Ace of wands. Yeah. Nine of wands. Okay. Well, pile one, I'm going to go ahead and say if you chose this pile and this does not sound like your person, then feel free to click off now and check another one. Um, there's a sexual obsession here. That's clear. Uh, their intentions here or are to be with you sexually. Um, very obsessive about it too. This person may even have like a porn addiction. Um, Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to say the energy out initially is very, very lustful, sexual. You may be dealing with somebody who is younger than you. Okay. Who is very, uh, I don't know, in and out player type of energy. Right. Um, yeah, but there's an obsession here with you pile one. So I mean, for the devil to come out first. Um, and I don't know if you've been intimate with this person or not, but I'm going to tell you if you have not, uh, this would be their intentions. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. Okay. Let's try to get some ones. See, this is the five of swords. So it is, there's an element again, this is the energy that's coming out. It's an element of self-sabotage. And I think that this person kind of is aware of it. I think they're aware that they have these, um, <clears throat> issues here. Okay. It's very short sighted. I mean, because again, I'm just going to say, I think this person has some sort of, it's, you know, let's keep going before I say too much. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with the devil? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to tell you pile one, I would be careful just initial energy out. I mean, <laughs> unless we start getting cups and all kinds of soulmate stuff coming out, I'm going to say that their intentions here, um, are, are really highly sexual with you. Okay. There's a, uh, yeah, it's the five, the five it's, um, <clears throat> It's red with the devil here. So it's, it's conflict. It's inner conflict. See this, this is the problem. This person is highly aware of the, their behavior here. And I think it's to a point now that they don't know how to stop. Like, so they're, they're used to possibly just having sexual relationships here, like not really committing. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah. This is very sexual in nature and it's very, um, yeah, it's like self-destructive for them. So, you know, the intentions here, I'm going to tell you, you guys use your own discernment when it comes to this person, if this is resonating for you. Okay. All right. Let's start clarifying. <laughs> Why is the devil here? Well, it's the ace of swords. Okay. <sighs> There's two messages here, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you for some of you out there, I think this person, um, they could try to come in uh and give like false pretenses here as to what they want okay um so be careful with that i'm just gonna say that's for some somebody out there um but the the other thing is here it's like there's almost a conversation needed between the two of you where you address this toxicity okay and i think your person knows it so it's like they're aware of their sabotaging ways uh, there, there's a lot of conflict here, um, internally for them. And they know, they do know that there needs to be some sort of truth here, whether or not they do it. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to find out their possible actions in the next spread, but, um, yeah, a couple layers there. So let's just keep going. Ace of wands, six of swords. Yeah, they're ready. <clears throat> Listen, they're ready to move this forward here with you. Um, this is they're again, they're obsessing about this. Um, this ace of wands with you. 
So really, I think this person will say whatever they need to say to make this happen. I'm just going to say that, guys. And I don't know if you're going to get the truth here, okay? Um, yeah, woo. Okay, Knight of Wands. In Knight of Cups, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, guys, I'm just going to say, use your own judgment here when it comes to this person. Uh, they do want to come in here, and they do want to give you something. I'm going to tell you, there's just... It could be a little shady, you know, could be for the wrong reasons, right? The Five of Swords, it's a little um, short-sighted here, okay? And I think it is mainly to get this. So, listen, I'm going to leave that here. We're just going to keep going because, um, you know, it's not really the best energy. <laughs> I was hoping for a little, uh, a little better intention spread for you guys, but I'm thinking this is definitely, uh, listen, the the attraction to you is definitely not the issue here um there is a desire here it's like they do have some they do have some feelings here you know i'm not gonna lie the knight of cups <clears throat> there's a part of them it is almost split energy i am gonna say that if you look at this the top row here and it's like <clears throat> over here they know they know the truth of their of their ways um and they they do want to give you something here but again i don't i don't know if this if this person's used to operating in this it might take them a while to kind of um, grow up a little bit here right okay five of swords the hermit see this is what i'm saying this person knows so there's an inner knowing here um there's an inner knowing that they do this that this is a cycle for them that this is how they are you know i I don't know and it's like again a split thing it's like they want they want to be they want to change for you i am gonna say that there's an element of that they do want to change this and actually move forward <clears throat> to being more honest with themselves and with you in this connection here um but again that's they're they're really operating from a place of like sexual stuff right now they are obsessing about this particular thing with you okay so yeah okay all right five of wands eight of swords yep this is the mental conflict i was just talking about i love tarot this is um i'm glad i love it too when it backs me up backs the energy read up because this is uh very specific okay this is gonna be very specific for for some of you out there uh but yeah this person's in their head there's a lot of mental conflict because they know how they are you know they know there needs to be some kind of truth here um are they going to tell you this truth i don't know they kind of want to give you something here a little more than just this but again, what they're being driven by here is this and this, okay? So, I mean, use your imagination there, right? Um, yeah, there's truth. And, and they are, they're really in their head. I feel like this person's definitely done some sort of self-reflecting here. And it's really put them in their head because, again, there's feelings here for you. And I don't think this person is is used to catching for people okay it's like they would love for this to just be this in and out sexual thing right uh the way that they've done it in the past but here there's something different here with you um it's like you give them hope that they can move forward towards their own personal truth here that yeah it's possible to actually have passion and desire for somebody but also actually have feelings and that's fine like that's normal right um i think this person really uh avoided avoided catching feelings for the most part you know here in connections and stuff in the past but there's been some sort of yeah some sort of awakening to this there's an awareness now here and it's really left them conflicted and in their head yeah i'm really curious how this is going to go so let's dive over and find out what their potential actions will be towards you pile one. Oh, sorry i didn't shuffle i'm sorry guys it'll just take it or leave it <laughs> i'm sorry um okay yeah eight of swords well we saw that one right bidding uh because that was the last card came out in your last spread okay oh yeah two of swords here so ooh, guys they're really in their head about this i don't know what you guys it's almost like you guys turned a player into uh you've made them question like everything now right uh wow okay well let's keep going yeah yeah okay well look this is um i'm not gonna say you know <clears throat> i think we i think if if that first spread out resonated with you and resonated and, and sounded like your person um this is the thing 
and that's what I was saying they're catching feelings now and so now they're in their head they don't know what to do now all of a sudden at the soul level they're wanting to give to this right it's like become more than just sexual for them now at this point and I think it's really like tripping them out okay um, I do think that they want to not see this you know it's like I don't want to I don't want to I would love it to just be <laughs> the other uh, wow okay let's keep going two of swords let's read with that yep it's judgment okay well yeah so so it's become <clears throat> it's becoming um a lot harder for this person to deny that there is more here than a sexual connection with you pile one um and so now it's like almost like the universe is about to rip these blindfolds off and it's like look at it this is you you know you want to give to pile one in more ways than just this right like there there are feelings here okay um so yeah so there is uh their intentions here their possible actions here are to actually take the blindfold off and see this for what it is and let themselves be more vulnerable to this you know um to the point where they give to this so there is you know this is possible actions here and you know again everybody has free will so i can't and everybody is on different timelines guys so you know i mean um, for, for the majority of you though, this is somebody who does want to give, you know, their next possible actions are to give again. We see that they feel they don't really know how to do this. I don't think this person is the, again, they're, they're just not the type to, um, I don't know, give, <laughs> give anything other than the wand or the taco. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep going. Why is eight of swords here? yeah okay so this is it so they already know they they listen mm, i think this person's really really shook uh about these feelings for you here they see long term <sighs> this is the potential action here it's like honestly once they can grow up here it's really what i'm getting and learn how to be a, an equal partner okay and not just in and out and all this kind of BS with whatever. It's just, it's all about growing up here. There's a judgment call to do that because there is, they do see this long-term thing. Again, I don't think this person was ever going to look for that. It was just like the non-committal. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Let's keep going. Eight of swords. Why is it here? The king of pentacles. Okay. Well, <clears throat> yeah, again, this is this person's need to grow up right and it's like they don't want to because they're so used to operating in that playboy playgirl type of energy here in the past they really don't want to it's like i don't want to see this i know uh, they know that that's listen if they if they want to do something here with you in the future and they actually want to take this connection further um then they're gonna have to grow up so this is it it's like they they know they need to i just don't think they want to see it just quite yet okay all right two of swords See, this is what I was talking about. It's chariot. So it's like, I think, oh man, I think, I think the universe is about to rip this off pretty quick. It, it's just like, I don't know, especially if they do try to come back in and just keep this sexual or casual with you instead of doing what their soul is telling them to do, which is this, there's a, a need for reciprocity here, a need to give to this. Um, if they don't and they continue keeping the blindfold on as to what this is here which i mean clearly they see this they don't want to see it okay they don't want to think this long-term thing is possible here but it's it's being put in their face right now okay and so if they refuse to keep looking at it yeah the blindfolds are just gonna be ripped off here so that's it <laughs> okay um yeah okay let's keep going six of pentacles yeah it's a page of cups so again this person um they they want to give here and then again it's going to be small because they're not used to doing this so we look we see a little bit of emotion starting to come up here and we saw the was it the knight of cups in the same position in your last spread so they do want to give something here to you is it going to be small yeah i think it is it's going to start out this way because this person's just not used to doing this they're not used to doing this equal exchange when it comes to a partnership here so yeah and and there is there might be a need for an apology for some of you yeah 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 yeah. that's in the energy so you know again there they they could need to apologize for their past behaviors here you know <laughs> okay uh judgment 
the invert. It's time to grow up. <laughs> this is oh, okay. Yeah, the universe is really, it's like, mm, yep, time to grow up here. And if you don't take the blindfold off and do this, then, you know, it's, you're, you're, you're going to be under spiritual judgment. This is just it. They're going to force this person to, again, if that, if that means the need for, um, some sort of tower moment, <clears throat> you know, to shake this person even more then that's what it's going to take. Right. So it's like, grow up, do what you need to do here. Move forward. Take, take the blindfold off here to what this is. Yeah. Okay. The Hierophant. Why is it here? So page of pinnacles. So they do feel small. Listen, this person, I don't care how they come off in the 3d, if they're cocky, if they're arrogant, um, they, they feel like they can't offer you this right now. They know that you're deserving of it and they do see this with you. Um, that's why they, <clears throat> they need to turn into this King of Pentacles here. You know, they need to boss up. I'm not, I'm not even thinking that this person's going to get to Emperor status here. I'm not, not anytime soon. They just need to work on getting from this page, the Knight of Wands type energy to this King of Pentacles, you know, in order to actually grow up and have a perspective change because that's what this person needs. They need a perspective change. They've, they've looked at relationships completely wrong in the past. I'm just going to say it. So, you know, but I think you guys have sparked something in them. It's like now there's a need to do this. You know, again, everybody's got free will, right? But this is what their soul is urging them to do. It's like, even if it's, even if it's just this page of cups, you need to do this with pile one, because this is, it's part of their growth. Okay. I think that meeting you has been part of their growth. Okay. So you've been a catalyst to this. Um, again, I can't tell you how long your person's going to take to actually transform into this because we can still see that they're blocking it. But I am telling you that with the judgment and the chariot and the emperor, this is like, you know, this is the universe saying basically like time is running out for this person. If they keep the blindfold on, then, you know, again, I, I do believe a tower is going to come in here for them at some point. Um, so, all right, pile one, pretty specific message there. I do hope this resonated with somebody out there. If, if it did love to hear from you guys below. Um, again, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And, uh, if you're interested in personals, all that's below as well. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Uh, today, we're going to take a look, find out what your person's intentions are here. This one's going to be a little more in-depth, so then after this, we'll take a look and find out what their possible actions are towards you. Uh, do keep in mind this is general, so if it's not resonating, you know, feel free to check another pile, or you might want to check all three. There could be messages in all three, right? Um, okay, well, let's dive in, find out what their intentions are here for you, Pile 2. We have the High Priestess. Followed by the death card. Okay. Two major arcanas out. Followed by the chariot. Wow. Well, um, I think that somebody wants to transform something here pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the other two because <laughs> this is something, I feel like there's something major happening here. Um, and it could be, it could be hidden. So again, you guys could definitely be in no contact with this person. Um, hmm. but I'm pretty sure that they're planning something here to bring this back, right? To, uh, revive something from the dead. I just heard. So I don't know. Let's keep going. <laughs> What's red with death? Six of cups. Yeah. So this is somebody from your past for sure. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia. There is a need to, I think this person's really been, again, I'm going to say for a lot of you, you're probably in separation from this person. So again, if this pile is not resonating for you, feel free to check another one. Okay. Cause definitely general here, but, uh, yeah. Um, it, something here, there's a past life thing here. Okay. There is something here where they're doing a lot of reminiscing about this connection with you. They're trying to really tap into their intuition here to figure this out. And I think they've had some sort of awareness here. Okay. So it's forcing them at the soul level to want to transform something, bring something back here. Um, again, bring something back from the dead. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it keeps coming out that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like reviving something from the past here and they want to do it rather quickly. Okay. Mm, let's keep going. What is red with the high priestess? Wow. Okay. The wheel of fortune. Mm, I'm going to say guys, this is some sort of faded type of connection here. I don't, I don't know how you resonate with this person. Um, could be a soulmate here. Yeah. Past life energy for sure. Wow. This is like some, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is somebody who, again, it, it's like they're using their intuition. They, they feel like this is faded as well. Oh, wow. I mean, this is, look at this. This is, um, 
this is pretty powerful energy here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. Yep. So they're, they're feeling this faded connection. And this is why the need um, to revive something from the dead is so strong here with this person, with their intentions for you. Pile two. Let's keep going. This is, um, this is pretty awesome. Okay. Why is the high priestess here? Most red weather. Three of wands. Yeah. So this is somebody, again, they are, um, they're trying to figure out what this is. I don't, I don't think they're aware of like soulmate stuff or anything like that, but they're feeling you guys at such a deep level here. They're like planning. This is like secret planning. They're, um, really feeling this and they're really hoping that they can revive this, whatever that means to you guys, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody, but there's a sense of restoring this connection here. Um, turning the wheel so that it can start over again here. And there's a planning. There's like, it's, yeah, it's inner knowing that something here is faded and that this needs to be, yeah, they, they might need to be doing some kind of planning here to get back into your energy here. I don't know. Let's keep going. Why is death here? <laughs> yeah, the seven of cups, it's, um, again there is like a longing i'm getting for a lot of you that you really are probably in no contact with this person because they're just they're kind of sitting here trying to figure out how to do this how to revive this connection with you okay um that's really what this is there's a lot of fantasizing going on a lot of sexual fantasies going on as well i'm gonna tell you that i just i get that off the seven of cups and the death card here uh plus the six of cups so it's like yeah they're there really and their feels about you uh emotionally and sexually and all that okay and there is a lot of planning yeah they they want to do something here pretty quickly here um okay <laughs> let's find out why the chariot's here Ooh, temperance yeah there is a need to heal something here there's a, a fast need to restore something here and i think this person's gotten some clarity here again um they've had some sort of awakening here to what this is they they might not know how to label it okay in terms of soulmates twin flames or whatever uh they they feel it though so now it's and there's a need for transformation and there's a need to do it quickly for them again if they've just been sitting over here waiting i do think this person it's it's a thing of trying to figure out how to do this so again i don't know how you guys ended here um yeah, but they, they already know that they, they've got to come back in and restore some sort of balance here. they got to heal something if they want another shot at this with you, okay? All right, Six of Cups. Yep, it's the lovers. Look, guys, another six. They've been doing a lot of reflecting here, the two sixes. Um, yep, and about you, about this connection. There is this, again, this to me, there is some sort of soul connection here. And I'm not going to say it's twin flames, but it's definitely soulmate. And it's definitely something you were, you were destined to meet this person for sure. So yeah, that's, that's there. And I think they're realizing it here. So their intentions here are to move something forward with you. Again, it's going to be different for everybody and everybody's going to be, you know, everybody's person's going to move at different speeds. Right. Um, and this, you know, temperance can also indicate like a need for divine timing here. Mm, definitely could be a thing, especially because we see the wheel of fortune. So there could be some sort of divine timing element going on here. Um, but overall, yeah, there's a really intuitive knowing who you are now to them. So yeah, wheel of fortune. Why is it here? Nine of pentacles. Yeah. It's almost like a, they, <clears throat> they need to liberate themselves from like, this feeling. I, I don't think for a lot of you that they've told you again, I think that they've been trying to figure out possibly how to tell you this, what they're really feeling here. There's a need for the wheel to turn so they can liberate themselves and, and really connect with you at the level that they, that their soul is telling them to do here. And they do want to express something here. So I think that's why there's a need to move this. And I think for a lot of you, there could be an apology. There's a need to reconcile this okay again there's like this waiting thing it's like a knowing a waiting a trying to figure out how to do this and bring about this transformation here yeah that's really what i'm getting guys okay all right well let's jump over and find out what their next potential actions uh could be towards you guys pile two shuffle those all right Okay, what's your person's next potential actions here do you keep in mind everybody has free will so we're just pulling on the energy here to um to kind of see what could come next. Yeah, so we have the two of wands, yeah. 
the Ten of Swords. Okay. Followed by the Chariot. Again, center card. Okay. There is a need to fix something here. There's a need to, now for some of you, it's like your person has been waiting around to do something here, to transform something. Um, and there needs to be an ending to that. And again, with the Chariot coming on your last, Fred as a center card. Yeah, they want to do this quickly. Yep, that's, let's keep going. Ten of Swords, what's red with that? Yeah, so for some of you, I think the problem here in the past was that they operated um, from the Knight of Wands energy. So it's like, you know, they knew what this was. They they had an inkling as to this being a deeper connection the whole time, right, with you. But for some of them, they just, they, they were non-committal to it. So there needs to be an ending of that type of behavior, okay? And they and they they know this so this is like the actions here there's like an ending to that they know that they've got to come back again i think for a lot of you that's going to be what is what they're going to have to do if they want to restore this okay and transform this connection with you um yeah so let's keep going why uh what's with the two of wands yeah that's what they're doing they they're really they're wanting to move this forward again for a lot of you i think there's a, le a level of embarrassment on their part because they didn't recognize they didn't recognize the soul connection with you before you know when you guys were together um <clears throat> And so now they have, now they have, right? Because we saw that they were doing a lot of reflecting. And I just go back here for a second. Yeah. <clears throat> so now they are. So they're over here waiting. And do you know why they're they're waiting? Because they're trying to get the confidence. That they're, again, they're trying to figure out how to uh, put an ending to that behavior. They want to come back and they want to show you that they've changed here, that they've discovered some things um, about this, you know, on their own terms here. So there's that. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Why is the two of wands here? Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a need to reconcile here, okay? There's a there's a longing to do this. You know, they the soul is urging them to do this. Again, I think that for some of them, they just need to get a little more, hmm, I don't know. Maybe they feel like they need to plan this out more. I don't know. They, they just want to make sure that they do this right here because, again, I do think for a lot of you, there is going to be some sort of explanation, apology, some sort of truth that they need to tell you here. Um, yeah, it's, it's like reconciliation. They're just waiting to do this. So yeah. Okay. Ten of swords. Why is that here? Yeah. So there's crossroads here. There's an ending that they need. They need to put an ending here. They, they, for some of you, you definitely could have, you could have this person blocked. Like it could have been a nasty ending and you might've just blocked them. And I think that's why they're like really hesitant to reach out to you. If that was the case, because they don't know how you feel, you know? Um, so yeah, there's that. And let's just see. Yeah, there's a crossroads about how to do this. You know, because I think for a lot of you, there was some sort of pretty, uh, yeah, pretty painful ending here. Okay, due to some sort of action that they that they did here. Yeah, okay. Why is the chariot here? I had a feeling that was going to come out. It's the Ace of Swords. Listen, this is, they are being urged to have this truthful conversation with you. That's really, I mean, the soul level, they know it. It's just that they're nervous. They're nervous here, that how, how they're going to be received. Uh, again, for a lot of you, I don't know. I'm getting some, for some of you, this person chose somebody else. Um, now there's going to be explaining that's required on their end, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, for some of you out there, I am going to say that's exactly what happened. They were just in their sexual, um, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they really don't know if you're going to be receptive to this at this point because of this painful ending here. But um, what they want to do here, what their, what their possible actions are, are to actually get the strength up here and actually come and do this there's truthful conversation and it's going to require them this is the thing it's going to require them to admit their their guilt here you know and in, in all this and it's gonna yeah it's gonna require them to be honest which i think this person has been avoiding right they I don't think they wanted to be honest about this about their behaviors about what this connection was to them but um yeah it's, it's become apparent to them now so Yes, that's that. Okay, all right, strength card. Why is that here? Yeah, for some of you, I think you definitely blocked this person. I'm not even going to lie. Um, yeah. 
it's the Knight of Pentacles. So again, this is slow. This is like, again, it's, a, it's another planning energy here now, like slowly moving your way, but really, really wanting to do this. Like, I think if you guys happen to run into each other, I'm going to say, I think this person would probably go ahead and just like spill the beans, right? Like, just say whatever they want it needed to say here. Um, say what the, the truth is and just kind of just blab, right? But this person's being really strategic about this right now. They're doing a lot of planning. They want to give, they want this to be like a solid apology or an explanation. However, um, they feel most confident to do this that would, that you would be most receptive to. Okay. So they're really planning this out. It's very strategic. They don't want to come off as this Knight of Wands, King of Wands anymore. Okay. Because they know that that's what caused an ending with you before. So yes, this is, this is the possible outcome i mean of this the possible actions that they might take again everybody's got free will so if this person just kind of mm, i don't know pussies out and doesn't want to admit some things to you and have this conversation then they're going to miss out on um what they already know to be a soulmate connection with you so they feel it they already know it uh this is what they need to do though there needs to be a, some sort of truthful conversation here um, that needs to happen pretty quickly so it's like the soul is urging them to do this so again i don't know if you guys have blocked this person but i'm gonna say if you want <clears throat> if you want to reconnect with them i mean some of you might just be completely done with this but if you're wanting to reconnect to them i don't know maybe unblock them because i think that again they they are um they're trying to they're trying to do something here where it's like i, I want to come towards you and, and maybe give you some sort of truth here about something that they did i don't know <laughs> okay all right pile two i'm gonna go ahead and leave that here for today i do hope that some of the messages in here resonated for somebody again i think we're getting like really specific reads because this one's like um pretty different from pile one too so i i think there's like just clear messages for certain people out there today so yeah you guys will definitely have to let me know in the comments below um and if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and uh yeah if you're not subscribed you want more of these hit that subscribe button as well and i will talk to you guys in the next one all right bye pile two Pile three, welcome to your reading. Uh, today we're going to take a look. Uh, this one's going to be a little more in depth, so we're going to take a look first, find out what your person's intentions are here with you, um, and then we will take a look and find out what their possible next actions might be towards you. So uh, do keep in mind this is general. So if the first couple cards out are not resonating with you, feel free to check another pile, or you can check uh, multiple piles, and there could be messages in all three. Okay, so yeah, let's dive right in and find out what their intentions are here for you, pile three well holy moly look at that it's the hierophant <laughs> okay uh okay six of wands Ooh, the page of animals. Okay. Ooh. well look here pile one i'm or by, why did i say pile one i don't know um okay well pile three uh this is a very different message than pile one i'm just gonna say so i'm not even gonna say go look at that because i can already tell the energy is gonna be way different here <laughs> okay um yeah that's the hierophant the six of wands and the page of pentacles okay so clearly your person's intentions here are to do something long term this would be a victory for them right this is um yeah it's the whole thing for them this is what they, this is their intentions for you i'm just gonna say now i think this person's been pretty quiet about these intentions here with the page of pentacles and the reason why they've been quiet about it is because right now they may not have enough to offer you to do this, to move things forward in a way that they want, right? Um, there is sort of like a strategy energy coming from this here. So I do feel like this person could be planning um, either to, I don't know, upgrade their finances, do something here. I don't know. Let's keep going. Uh, let's rub with six of wands. Yeah, see, oh my gosh, I need a strategy. That's what this is. Okay, well, this person's really thinking long term here with you. Pile three, they're trying to come up with a plan now that to, to get them this victory with you, which would be long term commitment here. Yeah, that's really what this is. Okay, well, pretty clear. I, I was thinking this was the energy. I'm going to tell you, all three piles today have had really distinct energy. So it's, it's some sometimes they all kind of bleed, or some of them will bleed over into others. But um, yeah, this is pretty pretty different than the others so yeah i'm gonna say their intentions here i think they're strategizing on how to do this yeah okay what is red with the hierophant 
page of wands okay so this is somebody who is really set they're very curious about you okay they um they do a lot of, of fantasizing about this here with you now i'm gonna say you could be dealing with a younger fire sign here um or just somebody just younger than you in general or if it's not that then they may be a little i don't know i don't want to say emotionally immature because i'm not really you know this is more of a sweet energy not gonna lie um yeah, it's just a, a very youthful energy here. So again, it's like they see this, they want this. I don't know, for some of you guys both still may be in school here. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Um, so they want this, so there's a strategy here about how to get this with you. Okay, uh, yeah, they feel like a little page still. So again, unless we see other cards, I think this is kind of the energy that mm, this is gonna this is going to be here. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, the Hierophant. Why is it here? Yeah, it's a ten of wands. It's it, it look they really want this with you. Um, it's they're stressed. They're stressing themselves out right now because again they're trying. To, they're over. They're almost overthinking this whole thing here. Um, yeah, it's like end goal stuff here with you, pile three, and it's like it's really putting putting them in their head. It's like um, it's becoming a burden here because they want this so bad. But they just don't feel like they can give it right now. Yep, that's really the energy I'm getting. Okay, Six of Wands. The Eight of Cups. They would really love to go towards their Nine of Cups here, okay? Um, for some of you, I don't know. Like, there there could be a theme. There's a layer here where I don't know if you guys were wanting this person to be more committed to you. And maybe you walked away here uh, because they weren't able to do that and they were just still a page and so now they're like strategizing how to how to get this back right how to stop you mm, so that's it's just a message for for a few of you out there but uh yeah this would be them walking towards their nine of cups here with you which would be this level of commitment you know it's uh it's becoming a burden here so i think they would rather do this sooner than later right um i feel like this little fox has been watching for a while trying to figure out like how to do this um, let's keep going. Page of Pentacles, why is it here? Yeah, it's the world. So they would love to close the cycle out here. Okay, they want this victory. They're trying to come up with a strategy to close a certain cycle out here. Again, if that's them needing to, I don't know, feel more confident, become more stable in themselves, either financially or emotionally, then that's what that would be. Um, but they see this whole new beginning here with you. You know, and, and it's like, I think that they're very quiet about this. I mean, again, it's like a really secretive energy here. Um, and I think it's becoming a burden for them because it's like they want to tell you, but I just don't know if they feel like they have got their whole strategy down yet. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's keep going. My seven of swords here. Yeah, it's like transformation. They're trying to figure out how to transform this to actually go for their nine of cups here to get this victory with you <laughs> and then there almost needs to be like a death of planning here this cycle does need to close out because i feel like this person's been do kind of stuck in this for a little bit here you know i mean for some of you i heard that this could have been going on for more than a year um where maybe you thought that things would go to another level but this person's still really like i don't know if they're like really not feeling up to par here you know to do this at the time but there's just like the strat yeah they need to just go for it here i don't know and it and, and we see the ten of wands it's almost like yeah they're about to do something here they're just about to like yeah there's a cycle that needs to close here of this okay okay let's find out why the page of wands is here page of cups okay yeah 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 um yeah look they're they're there's a need for them to grow up here too. Um, so again, I, I just think, you know, page of wands, page of cups. It's just, they, they definitely could be younger than you. Okay. Um, there needs to be, yeah, they're kind of just watching too. Like they're just kind of watching, um, thinking about how the future is going to look between the two of you. Once they're able to finally like step into their full potential and offer you the world here, um, and then you guys can take it to the next level. You know, it's a sweet energy. I'm not going to lie, but this is somebody who does need to do a little, you know, it's like almost like they need to get real here. Okay. And like start making the actions. Okay. We see that you're planning, but now it's time to start walking towards that nine of cups and actually do something here. Right. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to jump over to the other one and we're going to find out what their potential actions are here, pile 3. Okay? All right. For pile 3, what is their person's potential actions towards them in this connection? Do you keep in mind everybody is going to have free will here. So, again, I'm just reading what the energy is saying. Your person could do something completely different, right? <laughs> I don't know. All right, 3 of pentacles and 2 of pentacles, yeah. The fool. It get, this is like a repeating message of the other one. It's like they want to take the sleep. We know that. We we know that. They're strategizing. That's enough. They've been on the like going back and forth. Well, how do I do this? How do I get up the stability to come in and work with pile three? You know, for some of you, you again, you could work with this person or you could go to school with them. I don't know. Uh, there's a need to do this though. Already it's like, okay, we'll start make make the choice here. You know, let's start putting the ball into motion, right? Okay. Okay, two of pentacles. Why is it here? Ten of swords, yeah. They need to put, it's, it's like a wishy-washy thing. It's like, well, I could do it this way. I could do it that way. I just, I need to just figure out when, well, once I get here, once I finish school, then I'll let them know that, you know, I, I see long-term commitment with them. I don't know. For some of you, that might be it. But yeah, there's an ending that needs to happen between this little back and forth stuff with them. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is red with the three of pentacles? Eight of swords. They're in their head about working together. Again, I listen for a lot of you guys. They just see themselves as this page, right? And so I think for for you, they see you. And I completely, where did I go? Right here, sorry. They see like long term with you here, okay? Again, there's like, there's a huge level of attraction, attractiveness here, which is why they watch you. I think this person does a lot of watching um, pictures, probably in person. Again, if you guys are work or school, they're, they're keeping that eye out, you know? Um, yeah, so they, they see this long-term commitment here. I mean, in goal stuff with you, right? It's just like, yeah, it's a burden to not already go for it. Close out the cycle of being this little pagey stuff. Like, get your stuff together. Yes, let's transform this. Let's let's go ahead and do this, okay? Uh, it's cute. It's sweet. But this is, there's a need for, for them to grow up here, okay? They're in their head about, like, working, working together here. It's like they want to do it. You know, they want to do it. And they know that they need to kind of get off the fence here about it and just go for it right yep same energy so okay let's find out what's right with three pentacles ten of cups yep so they know it they know that you're you're complete wish fulfillment you're the whole thing for this person right uh they're still operating they're just i don't know i'm emotionally immature i'm getting for a lot of them they just don't know how to express it appropriately here um, a lot of feelings here. They would love nothing more than to work together with you, Pile 3, and actually go into this long-term commitment here with you. Again, for a lot of you, I think they do put you on a pedestal, and they see you as someone who is more mature than them, emotionally mature than them, it, definitely. So they feel a little subpar here to you, I'm just going to say. Okay, two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Well, he's coming back out, a page of cups, and it's just like... Yeah, I mean, like the page of or the page of cups with the two of pentacles. There's a decision to go ahead and do this. Like, just give something here. It's like, yes, it might be small and pagey, um, but it could lead to this. You know, down the road, you, you could teach this person how to grow up. I mean, I don't know. I think they're a little scared of that. I think that they're gonna think that you're gonna view them as inferior here uh, once you get to know them more okay so there's a little sense of that there's insecurity here because this is the thing it's like come off the fence actually do this and it might surprise you that pile three is more more than willing to work together with you to get this ten of cups i think it would shock this person honestly if like if they did this here they actually um you followed through on their stuff i think it would really surprise them that there is a potential that this could be long term because i think they fantasized about it but i just think i get for a lot of you they feel like you're out of their league and that it's just a dream it's just a fantasy like why would i why would pile three want me right like it's it's almost that and it's like again we see them like they want to work together towards this they almost think it's like oh, it's just almost too good to be true i don't know let's find out why the fool is here Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. So they're working on this again. It's like they're working towards making this leap towards you. There's nerves here. They they don't know if you're just going to squash them, you know, when they come up and, like, do something here and actually, um, 
let you know that they they want something more long term here. I don't know. Is they're working on something here? They're working towards making like a fresh start here with you. Again, it's like they're trying to figure out how to make this choice and put an ending to this wishy washy type of behavior. Okay, all right. The two of swords. Why is it here? Or I'm sorry, ten of swords. Why did I say two? I don't know. We might even see it. <laughs> Well, seven of wands, yeah. So, yeah. Let's see. Let, let me just see. Mm, they're a little defensive to making this end in here because, again, I think they're unsure. They're unsure that they can actually have this with you. So, there is, there's two, mm, there's two layers here. This person does know they, they want to, they want to stand up for this. They do want to put an ending to the you know, just being on the fence about whether or not they're going to offer something here and just do it right. Just take the leap. For some of you, I am getting, I, there's a strong work energy here or school vibe here. So for a lot of you, I think you either, yeah, you, with the eight of pentacles and it's almost like, and that could be the thing too. Like maybe you guys do work together and that could be, um, why they're not already like doing something here because maybe they feel like it's inappropriate. So there could be a decision to that what they can only offer at work would be this page of cups, even though they see the full 10 of cups. I don't know. That's for somebody. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. The eight of swords. I might pull in that seven of wands here in just a second because I, yeah, the queen of cups. So listen, they, they're in their head about the, the feelings that they have for you clearly, but they're viewing you as this. So again, they don't know. <sighs> It's almost like because they're such on this page and they're viewing you as the queen, they're like, is this cup going to be good enough? I don't think so. Like they're viewing you again, pedestal. Like it's like, they just almost think this would be too, that it's too good to be true. Like, is this complete fantasy? Like they're in their head about it. Like, can I actually work together with pile three? Are they going to have me? Like, I don't know. It's sweet. Again, it's sweet. I think this person just has a little bit of inferiority complex, um, you know, when it comes to thinking about them being with you. Like, I, I don't know. Let's pull on that seven of wands really quick. Cause I just don't want to see. <laughs> it's, it, it's funny. The eight of wands wanted to come out and I hadn't even shuffled yet. Um, yeah, it's definitely about communicating something here with you. Like, I think there's so, I think there's a lot of nerves here with all those pages. I think they're real nervous to do something here. So they just kind of been watching you with that seven of swords. Okay. Why is seven of wands here? Four of Swords, yeah, they're guarded. They're a little guarded here. That would be the ending. They have to stop being so guarded. Yeah, judgment at the bottom, Nine of Swords. It's giving them a lot of anxiety here to actually let their guard down here and do this. There's a fear of rejection. There's a fear of them getting hurt. Uh, but there's also like this whole thing of like, what if, right? Like, what if this actually could be true, <laughs> you know? Um, really cute, really sweet pile three. I don't know. Again, I think your person definitely could be younger than you or at least mentally, emotionally. Okay. Um, yeah, it's sweet. And I think they are working on it here. So I think their possible actions here are, um, they know they've got to get off the fence about this and kind of let their guard down a little bit. Take a risk here. It's really what this is. It's all about, I think pile three, it's all about them taking a risk here. So I do think they're working on it here. Soul level. I think, I think they are. So yeah, pile three. Let me go ahead and leave that here today. I hope this resonated with some of you out there. Uh, if it did, love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And again, if you guys are interested in personals, uh, all that will be below as well. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. All right. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.